Mr. Dog was a guard at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. He liked his job. He loved guarding the paintings by Vincent van Gogh and Pablo Poole, but Leonardo da Vinci was Arthur's favorite painter. Or was it Henry Mutt? Peace. Arthur couldn't decide. At night, Arthur came home to his little apartment on West 17th Street, ate himself dinner, and read until it was time to bed. Arthur led a quiet life. He seldom went out, except on nights when the moon was full. On those nights, Arthur's eyes grew bright, and his fur seemed to glisten. He would take out a box he kept in his closet, put on a hat and a mask, and tiptoed down the back stairs into the streets of Dogopolis. He crept down an alley, and when he was sure no one was around, he unlocked the box and took out paints and brushes. He painted a flash of lightning, a splash of sunshine, and dozens of glowing lights in the night. He painted monsters ten feet tall, fish with tails the size of houses, frogs ready to hop over skyscrapers. When he was finished, he crept home, a dog alone, wondering if anyone ever noticed his painting. No one saw him paint or sign his painting with a splat of his tail and the name Art Dog. No one knew who Art Dog really was. Until... One night at the museum, crash, a window was broken, a door was busted, ring, the alarm went off and footsteps clattered down the alley behind the museum. The police screeched to the scene of the crime, the director of the museum was not far behind. Yikes! The Mona Wolf was gone! cried the museum director. Look what they left instead of Leonardo Dog Vinci. This art looks like a Mona Lulu to me, said the chief of police. The paint's still wet, said the museum director. Find me the culprit, but the chief of police. They nabbed the first dog they found in the alley. His eyes had a certain glow to them and his fur seemed to glisten in the moonlight. He also had a paintbrush in his paw. Book him, the chief of police said. They threw him in jail, but when no one was looking, he pulled out a brush and a tube of paint and he painted a ladder. He climbed up the ladder and where there were bars, he painted a window and jumped out. Back onto the streets of Dogopolis, then he put his nose in the air. What was he sniffing? Suddenly, he took out his brush and paint. Zip! Splash! Smoosh! He painted himself a brushmobile with his name on the side. He whizzed over to the Acme Paint Factory to fill up his tank and... Vroom! Then off he roared into the night over highways and bridges, through the park and past the ballet, leaving a trail of paint behind him as he went. Then, screech! He slammed on the brakes in front of a deserted warehouse. He sniffed, he tiptoed, he looked inside. Three nasty-looking mutts were getting ready to ship something to a distant port. He took a closer look. It was the Mona! Yikes! The mutts turned around. Hey, what are you doing here? Said the biggest mutt. Gosh, I... must have made a wrong turn, said Art Dog. You can say that again, said the mutt. It looked like big trouble for Art Dog. There was only one thing left to do. Hunger! What a masterpiece! Wow! said the chief of police as he arrived with the museum director. How did you know where the Mona was? Art Dog wiggled his nose. 
I can smell art a mile away. The director of the museum said, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Art Dog, said Art Dog, pointing to his brush mobile. Art Dog, I like the way you paint. How about a show at the museum? Sure thing, said Art Dog as he sped away in his brush mobile. Soon it was the night for Art Dog's show at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. Everyone stood around and sipped root beer as they waited to meet Art Dog and see his painting. But where was he? Where were his paintings? And, for that matter, wondered the museum director, where's Arthur? He should be on the job tonight. Suddenly there was a sound. Everyone rushed outside just in time to see. Art Dog high in the sky, finishing his masterpiece, City Rhapsody. Everyone was amazed and speechless. Then, suddenly, he was gone. Who was Art Dog? Who was this painter in a brushmobile, catcher of crooks and bringer of light to the Dogopolis night? No one knew. Be on the lookout for the sequel. Who's painting the town red? The lovable art dog is back in action. When the city's art is being defaced, the police only know one person they can trust to solve this art crime. The one and only art dog and his trusty sidekick, perhaps?